Are you really? Did you guys get your Peloton yet? I know you guys. I I, 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 I listened to one, and you guys want. No, we had it. You had it. We have one. Oh, you go all good. You like it? We love it. You, but you do na- nature the real way. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hang yeah, on, yeah. you do Peloton? No, no. I, 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 I cycle. Yeah. Oh, you do the real deal. I do. That's yeah, way yeah. harder. Look at his body. Yeah. You- I go up. Uh, I, I go up this way, Blue Canyon, up to Mulholland. Uphill? Yeah, fucked hard. No, I, all downhill. I can't do that. I can't yeah. do that. <laughs> I know because you're fucking. Look fast. at your fucking. You have lesbian thighs. <laughs> I know a lot of lesbians that can cycle. So. <laughs> Oh, that's my Watch bad. It. Are you trying I'll to get, get canceled? canceled? Are you trying to get canceled? All right. <laughs> <laughs> or let's, you want to start? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. All right. It's hot in here, huh? It's hot. It's, but that's why we're we going to figure out a way to do this. We're going to get we AC. Have air, air, air conditioning. Yeah, we are. We're going to get a, a, a duck list. I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm sweating. Um, here you go. Sunshine, everybody do do do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, welcome to another episode of. <laughs> welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. Wow, man, this is the second time we're having it in this garage. It's pretty fucking hot. It's like a sweatshop. It's like a sweatshop in here, you know. And I, uh, I know about sweatshops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about them? North Korea, they have them. Mm. Yeah, Kathy Lee Gifford. She, remember she she had some. She, she went over there. No, she, she had some in she had... China or something. Oh, anyway. But the, it, they all do like Bangladesh, all of those, the Philippines. Oh, I love the Bangladesh people. <laughs> what do you know about them? Well, I was playing on um, Warzone. Yeah. And this guy goes, "I'm from Bangladesh," and then like his movement, even in the game, was very Bangladeshi. <laughs> it's that. It's a good thing, right? It's a really good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Yeah, thing. very like secretive. Mm. Yeah, and very uh, sneaky. Like in the dead game. silence. Dead silence. silence. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we've got George in the room. This f- fucking beautiful white piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, beautiful. I mean, beautiful. When it comes to whites, dude, man, you're you're the top of the game. I, I please look at his the yin and yang on his shirt, as if one wasn't enough, two, three, and said, three. He said he yeah. wears it for every Asian in the room. Yeah. <laughs> And he's getting married to an Asian. So you need five. So you need five, bud. <laughs> uh, we have this guy right here. This guy's bullshit, man. We play Warzone. Sup. And then and then he goes, I gotta leave. I have to leave. No, to you don't a leave. Tiger Belly podcast. You never leave. <laughs> we got my beautiful. What is this? Talk about Bangladesh. Look at these. Fucking- <laughs> these were not made in Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck is this? These are fair trade pants. Leave them alone. This, this is, is not Bangladeshi young babies making these pants. This is like if you pulled something out of Liberace's asshole, <laughs> this would come out. It's exactly what it would come out. <laughs> <laughs> or Ellen John. It's like a little surprise. We've got a beautiful, my beautiful girlfriend here, um, uh, Kalila, and uh, seven years deep, eight years almost deep. Mm. Yeah. Not almost eight years. We're barely hitting seven. Yeah, seven. And I have my Arsenal FC fucking coffee cup it's leaking but uh, is it yeah it's cracked in the bottom oh it is fuck oh anyway um <laughs> not like the team though they're strong They've got a good uh, let's not be rude yeah let's not, let's be, not rude. be fucking rude mm-hmm. yeah all right we got a fucking guest all right yeah let's <laughs> guess you know, an athlete and I, it's, it's this is the longest introduction i'm ever gonna do <laughs> for a fucking introduction all right? because you have to understand that mm-hmm. like you know when i was a kid um my cousin Paul, I've talked about my cousin Paul before, right? And he would, I was a kid and he would go, he would tell me what the great band, like music, great music was, right? So he introduced me to the Beatles, you know, when I was younger. And then we got into like Roxy Music and the Velvet Underground. And then like, you know, the CBG big bands like Television, you know, Bl- Blondie, Talking Heads, th- that era. And then... um But then in the 80s, you know what I mean, we 
talked about uh, Sonic Youth, which was a big, I love the album Daydream Nation is a great album. And but I had this obsession with this band called the Pixies. Now, um, I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, you're crying. I'm going to cry. Um, I remember there was a, a mini mall in Rancho Bernardo where I grew up. This is probably 89, 90, 1990. And I remember I got cassette tapes of um, um, Doolittle and Surfer Rosa. And um, also the EP, I believe. And um, <laughs> she, 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 you, you told me not to say I don't, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I remember listening to that, th those albums just on repeat. And I just thought, wow, man, this is this music. And this is before like Nirvana, right? You know, it's like, you know, when, when a song starts real silent and then you hit them, you know what I mean? With the fucking, you know. Do that again? You just, you know, it goes, you know, and then they go, damn it, hit you, they hit you in the head <laughs> with the fucking music, right? And um, so then cut to uh, maybe, you know, I got six months ago, seven months ago. I ran into this dude, right? And I, and I, in my, once I saw this dude, just shut up, shut up, babe. Just let me say it, right? When I saw this dude, our guest today, right? It was immediate, like, like, holy fuck. You know what I mean? There he is. Mm -hmm. That's the guy. I remember. Remember? I told I you. I came home when I told you. I remember him. exactly what you told me when you came <laughs> yeah, home. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long ago was this? Six, seven months ago. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And then, but then when I met him, I pretended that I didn't know who he was. Classic Bobby. <laughs> you know I mean? Classic. Classic. Move. It's called Shadow Games. It's right here. Shadow you know? play. Yeah. Shadow play. Shadow games. Okay. And then, um, but then, as soon as he mentioned that, oh yeah, you, you're a comedian, right? Then I was just like, oh, but you're Joey Santiago. You know what I mean? From the Pixies, right? So I did that whole foolish, you know, <laughs> social thing, right? But, um, but him and I have become friends and um and i just immediately thought i gotta get him on tiger belly but um i didn't want to you know have him as a guest on via zoom so now that we have this new space i invited him he said yes, yes. and this is very exciting so we have give him a round of applause for joey santiago Woo! ladies Yay. and gentlemen and he's the guitarist of one of my favorite bands of all time the pixies hello joey hello <laughs> um <laughs> joey um you know you're gonna get a lot of crap because you say the, the, the you put the article there, oh, but no. we do not care. We it, w it was it's so stupid why we called our, ourselves Pixies. Oh, it's not the Pixies. Are you even a fan, Bobby? <laughs> no, 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 no. I say <laughs> what? I say the Pixies. Yeah, we're oh. through with it. I, uh. I mean, ever ever since we did that, that was our that was a mistake. Yeah. Wow. So, because bands at that time weren't doing that the thing, mm. you know? I think the the made fun of it. I don't know. <laughs> but, 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 yeah. but there were like, you know, these bands that didn't have the on them anymore. Yeah. yeah. So who came up with the fucking title, Pixies? I did, yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Wait, so uh, uh, let me get this straight, okay? Because I, I, I didn't really Wikipedia, but I, let me make an assumption. Okay. Let me, me throw some stuff out. Boston, mm -hmm. mid eighties. Mm -hmm. um, college, mm -hmm. were you in college? I dropped out at UMass and UMass Amherst. UMass, right? Mm -hmm. Which was a song on um, Trump Lamont. Yep. Let's see. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> real fan. Thanks. And so, how did you meet um, Black uh, Frank Black? Uh, uh yeah yeah uh, Charles. Uh, I oh, met him. My and, bad. My uh, bad. My bad. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> The Charles. The Charles. <laughs> was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met him. Uh, he was my like roommate, suite mate. Oh. You know, we oh. had suites in the uh, in, in this dorm. They yeah, were suites. So everyone had a bedroom, common bathroom. Yeah. And I met him there. And uh, yeah, he had a guitar. And I didn't want my guitar there because I wanted good grades. 
<laughs> yeah. you, you know yeah, yeah, yeah so instead i did a bunch of mescaline and i drank a lot and i, I and uh man, and i started playing tennis for some reason <laughs> well, uh, yeah. like i thought i was i actually joined the open the amherst open thinking really? i was really good wow i sucked i mean i didn't return one serve <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy, the guy was just going, God. <laughs> yeah. You know, hey, it's the open. Sorry. Right. I'm so here. you slept in the same area with with um, Charles? Uh, yes. It's a weird way to ask it. You slept in the, the same, same area. area. They were no, very, I, they're we exactly. Their room yeah, yeah, yeah. There so was uh, that's the same area, right? My room and then um, <laughs> another room and then his room. His room. Right. So it's it. that's he, what I'm saying. He wants to know the sleeping configuration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I just assumed that they were sleeping in the same room, like mm-hmm. bunk beds. But they had different, up, like, rooms. apartment, not apartments, but rooms. Rooms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they were different rooms. So then, when you, uh, how does that come about? That conversation, like, hey, play me something, or how, I mean, how does? I was just relieved when I was going to college. I I had this big fear that I was gonna be amongst jocks, mm. ah, and I was gonna be petrified. Like, you know, like, yeah. like bro, 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 bro. It's like, it's like <laughs> oh no, you know, but I uh, thank God, thank God. That you met him. Now, yeah, yeah, they must have, you know, we had a computer science geek. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. My roommate was still in love with this, her high, his, you know, she's still in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, played uh, that air supply song Which all one? the time. Um, all out of love. Oh my god, oh. I love Air Supply. Air Supply is the, the biggest, still the biggest band in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> well, he listened to it constantly. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and then when he when one night he came back, I go, that's it, and I put on <laughs> fuck, I put on Iggy Pop, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And it's like time to get out of this shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, did you guys? Did you and Charles just start playing together? Is that what how it happened? No, he's. I didn't bring it till um, uh, I went home, and then I grabbed my guitar. Right. Uh, his. Uh, he was playing with uh, his roommate too, so he, he had a guitar. Uh, he was good, but he was like playing like the bluesy stuff. Right. On right. top of it. Yeah. And you know, I just thought like, eh, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, because so. your influence is like you just said Iggy Pop, so like. The same shit that I was probably listening yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. The MC5, maybe. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So safe to say you weren't a fan of Air Supply? Um, <laughs> How un Filipino of you. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> but you're, you were raised in the Philippines. Were you born in the Philippines? I, I, I left when I was seven. Ah. Uh, yeah. Because she's Filipino. Mm. Yes. Yeah, you know that. Uh-huh. What island did you grow up in? I w- 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 raised in. Uh, I uh, was born in um, Manila. Mm. Well, you know, Saint Joseph's. I, that might have been in Quezon City. Yeah, uh, close yeah, enough yeah. to Manila. Yeah, that oh, was Santa Tomas. Santa yeah. Tomas. Santa Tomas. And then, uh, yeah, my uh, my uh, uncles. I guess you know we had a rice mill in. Um, Bulacan. Bulacan, yeah. Uh-huh. Bulacan, yeah. But um, so when you were growing up, you moved here when you were seven. Did you go back often or did you just? Only once mm. for uh, a medical mission mm. uh, that my uh, mother in law uh, ran. A medical mission? What does that mean? Like you go on a. Let, let me just guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know much. <laughs> let me guess, all right? <laughs> You're a medicine man. Let's say I was a medicine man. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I would go out. On a mission, uh-huh. right to help impoverished people who couldn't afford medical um, diagnoses, uh-huh. right? And I that's is that what is that what a medical mission is? Yeah, it was Very for uh, the people that uh, the, for the Ayatas. Yeah. They were uh, is that a tribe? Yeah, they were like the uh, Aborigines of the Philippines, and they uh, were mm. displaced by Mount Penatubo. So we did that. Did you just make that up? Or? Mount Pinatubo was the largest explosion, <laughs> volcanic eruption oh, like, ever. Oh, Mount Pinatubo! I, I, I think it was even bigger than like Krakatoa. Like the Krakatoa ash. Krakatoa is a fucking thing! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a creature from Clash of the Titans. Bobby, name another one. You guys will Bobby, know. Bobby, name another one. The Kraken. The Kraken too. 
You, you don't remember Mount Pinatubo? Was I ever at Mount Pinatubo? No, 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 because the ashes <laughs> made it all all the way to America. That's how big the explosion oh, was. Oh, that's what those ashes was Yeah, and then in, in the Philippines, when, you had a lot of like... <laughs> Lahar, like a lot of the neighboring areas, like in Pampanga, became basically this gi giant sludge mm -hmm. towns. Uh, yeah. It was really sad. Uh, you know what? S uh, sorry, guys. I ain't no fucking flip, 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 flip. You know, you guys are, have the history and I don't know much about it. I don't know much about the Philippines either when people give me the current events. I don't follow it. Yeah. For some reason. I love the Philippines. And when I go to the Philippines, I love going to the resorts. Yeah. You know, like well, I think we did. Crimson. I went to the Crimson. And the, the other one that you haven't been to is the Shangri-La. Shangri-La? That's the one. Yeah, Shangri-La. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shangri-La? Shangri-La. Shangri-La. That's the one I want to go to. The Shangri-La <laughs> Hotel. Yeah. Sabuya? Yep. I've, I, I've been there. We, no, really? <laughs> I had uh, bird's nest soup in there. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? I did. Oh, wow. <laughs> What I the really fuck did. is bird's nest, nest soup? Take a guess. What's a bird? I, a bird I'll, I'll guess what birds. All right, so a bird, right? Uh -huh. They have to, because we had one at, a, at the house. Yeah. They need um, a place to sleep. Sleeping arrangement. And they're, you know, you know, Eskimos have igloos. Yep. Right? Um, Indians have teepees back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But a bird has a nest, yep. correct? Mm. And what they do is they... They let the bird leave because I'm not gonna eat the fucking bird. That's fucking rude. That's disgusting. Right? Mm -hmm. And they'll just take th their house, stick it in boiling water, right? Put salt and paprika, right? And maybe some garlic. And so you're getting, is that it? Hold on. So you think that you're putting twigs, just random twigs from the But what you don't get is, is the, bird have, the bird, by living there, his essence and his nutrients seep into the actual nest. So it's just not the twigs. It's like absorbed with minerals and... Not too far off. Not too far. It's saliva. Yeah, it's the saliva. It's not... Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you ate? You know what I, I had no idea. <laughs> it, it, my, you, you, when, you, when you go there, my aunt ordered it. Uh -huh. yeah. You have to eat it. Oh, or, or you're disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. No, you do have yeah. to eat it. Like, yeah. like, you know, one day I didn't feel like having <laughs> balut. Yeah. But my, my uh, godfather... Uh, he goes, we're going to get it. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Did so, you eat it? Balut. Well, we went to Shakey's first. Yes, of <laughs> oh, course, wow. of course. And, and, and then I ate the balut, yeah. and I was... Uh, Shakey's pizza? Shakey's pizza in the Philippines is the best. I didn't know that was a thing there. It was. It's our thing. Like, well, I wouldn't say it's the best, but I'm just saying it's the best that we have <laughs> back <laughs> home. So you had Shakey's pizza, mm -hmm. and afterwards, you as a dessert, yeah. <laughs> you had... Duck a bird, embryo. bird baby. Uh, an embryo, yeah. An embryo. Uh huh. And it, it, did, when you opened it up, did you see its little, you know what I mean, baby eyes? I used to love it as a kid. Mm. I did. My my big bro my uh, brother that was older than me, Manny, he took it apart one day in, in the thing and you oh, could man. see it. The feathers. The yeah. feathers and stuff. Yeah. And uh, I didn't care. I just like, well, it's, it's good. It is good. It is good. You know, it tastes like chicken soup. Look at that. All the vegetarians are going to hate that. <laughs> no, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Hey, guys, we're taking a quick break to share one of our favorite sponsors on the podcast. Manscaped. Ooh. I love it. I don't like hair on my body. Uh -uh. Fellas, are you prepared to unveil your summer bod? I sure am. Mm. For sure. Manscaped is here to ensure your post-quarantine body is ready for the wild. Don't be the guy at the beach with a bear rug on your chest. And if you grew some quarantine man tits, the, the least you can do is make sure they're hairless. You guys, you know, <laughs> I shave my pubes yep. down below. I know. The jungle down there, man. And I only use Manscaped. It really is the best shaving equipment I've ever used before. Mm -hmm. It's just so smooth, but guys. It's uh, dedicated to help you level up your full body grooming game. And the Perfect Package 3.0 kit comes with the Essential Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof Ooh. cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your manscaping routine. This is the best trimmer on the market for those of you in need of a chest ch shave. Also, I'm not against hair on the body, but with Manscaped, you can also adjust the settings to get the length that you like. Mm -hmm. You can stay on top of it with almost no effort at all. It really is the, uh, an amazing product. Tell them more, Gilly. 
Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SLEPT at manscaped.com. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SLEPT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code SLEPT. Trim your chesticles with the besticles. I love Brooklyn. Mm. I love it so much. Yeah. You guys, I'm telling you right now, you know, I used to go to these other places to get sheets for my bed. And it would say threat count, all this bullshit on it. I mm. get it. And a couple of weeks later, I probably don't like it, you know. But we all as soon as I was introduced to Brooklyn and Sheets, that's the only sheets we use in the fucking house. Is that not correct, babe? Mm-hmm. It's also the only set of towels that we use. Mm-hmm. And now our whole bathroom looks like a Brooklyn and spa. Yeah, it's uh, the towels are great. And I'm getting up and showering every morning to have some semblance of routine. And Brooklyn's towels mm-hmm. are so plush. It's like the perfect hug to start my day off right. Aww. I'll just stay in my towel all day until my next, my second shower at night. I swear yeah, the to you. sheets are so breathable. And it's like just, it just feels so cold and warm. And also comfortable. Mm. Cold and warm at the same, same time. time. That's all I that's want. That's how yeah. amazing they are. That's, that's how amazing. Guys, Brooklyn is the perfect place to find all the comforts for home, including ultra soft, warm, and cold towels. They're so confident in their product that everything comes with a lifetime warranty. Get 10% off your first order at brooklinen.com slash tiger. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N dot com slash tiger. Brooklinen, everything you need to live your most comfortable life. Enjoy the rest of the show. So so you move. So let, uh, let's fuck Balut. Fuck the nest soup. All right. You ate it as a baby. You it's ate it as a baby. So at you seven years it. old, you move to Boston? Uh, Yonkers. Yonkers, Massachusetts. New, New York. New York. <laughs> okay. I like the way you said Massachusetts. <laughs> right? Massachusetts. I, I have never been able to say it right. Sounds like a dish. But you said Massachusetts? Yeah. How do you say it? Massachusetts? Massachusetts. <laughs> That's good enough, babe. I, think I, I literally have never been able to say it. I say Boston Mass. Just say Mass. That's what I, yeah. Mass, 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 Mass. mass, mass. Uh, bo- bo- let me just, Boston, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> One more shot. Okay, say, well, it, say it again. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yes, yes, you got it. Mitt Romney couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, he said, I think he said Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, then I, I don't feel bad. Yeah. So you, so then, because he, I know a, a little bit about your um, your childhood because mm-hmm. we've talked, you know, and um, I feel like you were raised similar to me in terms of having, you know, a strict dad. Mm-hmm. Because I, I've always wondered, wondered, like, what drives somebody, you know, so, you know, when you have a strict environment and sometimes a little violent, you know, in my case, right, I poured all my energy into like doing creative things you know what i mean and i feel like that without that upbringing right that i might have not done that all the things that i was willing to do to you know to do comedy or what or whatnot you know so i've always been like curious about that about people's Mm -hmm. past and whatnot so you know do you think so your your dad was strict yes (laughs) Yeah. yeah in what way though like I was just very, very strict. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. put it that way. Yeah. And, and yeah. he wouldn't get you shit? What do you mean? Like, we, 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 like, if I asked my dad for, like, you know, a Sega, not Sega Genesis, but like whatever the. Like a Nintendo? A Nintendo back then. You go, no, you know, do your homework. Was it like that? Hmm. <laughs> was he Korean? Was he, <laughs> Korean? Was he Korean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it was up to him, we'd, you know, we probably wouldn't have any, you know, Gift, Christmas gifts or anything. We never, we never celebrated oh. birthdays or anything. Right. You know, it was just, too. it yeah. was just the thing. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And I never thought about it until I went over people's homes, yeah. and they, they were celebrating, and like, they put on an act for me. Yeah. You know? Or they're showing off. Or you watch something on TV where it's like, wait, did you grow up Jehovah's Witness? No. You just, put, <laughs> you just didn't have birthdays or Christmas just, just cause. Oh no, we did have those, oh, but okay. it wasn't like celebrated like, you know, what white people would do, like other people. Oh, oh, when they go like a baby is a year old and they have like, you know, the entire. No, it's more picture. like happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, and then he'd slide an envelope with a hundred dollar bill in it. I see. That's Got what it. my dad Got would it. do. No yeah. cake, no cake, no. Yeah, candle. yeah, he wouldn't go out of his way to sing a tune. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And to put on it like some sort of production. I- my, mine would be socks. Give me socks. <laughs> 
<laughs> eat your dad would give you socks? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when did the guitar happen? Um, oof, that wasn't until we moved to Massachusetts. Uh, my, my brother had a, my older brother had it up on his wall and I took it down and I uh, tuned it. How old were you? Uh, like around 12. Mm. Wow. You know? Yeah. Did you have like, it was a Radio Shack acoustic guitar. Wow. Wow. That's what he told me. <laughs> yeah. And so you, did you just learn on your own or did somebody sit Pretty there? much, pretty much. I tuned it with the, uh, we had an organ downstairs. Like everybody had an organ. Yeah, back then, yeah. Back then, you know. And uh, so, you know, I just learned how to do that. And you, so you never to ask your parents, could I take lessons? I, I did. I, I took them for a little while. But then I just wasn't that disciplined at uh, it. I, I, then I learned bar chords, and that was it. Then I go like, I don't, I don't need this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Were any of your um, family members or your mom and dad like musical? Um, my my father uh, played, you know, the same song <laughs> all the time. And Wait, the uh, ones, what song was it? I don't even know. Oh. Don't know, but it was uh, <laughs> well, it's, it's a Filipino song. It's a Filipino thing mm. on the organ. On the organ. All oh, right. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> right. But take a guess, Gilbert. Take a guess. I always assume a lot of Filipino dads know Edelweiss. No. Uh, no. Edelweiss. <laughs> that's, a, Edelweiss. <laughs> that's a German song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that's good. Thank you. Edelweiss. I thought you were gonna say like Freddie Aguilar, like or, a knock. Or, a knock, probably. <laughs> that's the one a lot of people do. Yeah. So um. <laughs> and my grandfather was played piano too. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so it, there is, there's always that. Like when my dad, people go, well, he was strict on whatnot. But my dad, and if you met my mom, my mom is very funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not just accidentally funny. She's purposely funny mm -hmm. in terms of timing mm -hmm. and stuff. So I just feel like it comes more from her. But my dad would do real clever fart jokes. <laughs> What's a clever fart joke? Just like when you're sleeping. You know, I never thought, you know, when you fart on somebody, yeah. they're usually generally awake. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? But, like, my dad would, and you, you would, you know, maybe fathers would fart on their children through the underwear and pants. Yeah. My dad would pull it down. Bare acid? Yeah, yeah. So you would get... Debris? The, not just debris, but the wind. Oh, gross. The wind. <laughs> the wind. The wind. The wind. Yeah. You could, you know what I mean? Yeah. You could feel it, right? Yeah. So, and then he would go, ah! You know what I mean? That kind of you know, thing. So I learned that kind of comedy from him, but the timing from my mom, right? But I don't, you know, it comes from somewhere. I, I also think that Filipinos, I've said this before, Filipinos and Koreans are similar when it comes to comedy. Like humor? Mm -hmm. Because look at the, the funniest, I mean, I, I don't want to get in trouble here <laughs> because I know the climate we're fucking in, Right. But this, I'm just throwing out factual things. For a while, it was just in the comedy scene, it was generally Filipino dudes and Korean people, you know? Cool. And you would see maybe one Japanese person or one Chinese descendant person. Mm. But generally, you could rattle off 20 Korean comics and 20 Filipino comics in the scene. I just think it has to do with culture, you know? Yeah. Or it's very similar. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you, I want to go back now to the Pixies. So mm -hmm. when you were with Charles, mm -hmm. how did Lovering, what's his name? Uh, Dave Lovering. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. You did. <laughs> Lovering. Yeah. He's a magician, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Oh. So Dave Lovering, he's the drummer of the Pixies. Mm -hmm. And how did Kim deal? How did that happen? Yeah, we took an ad out on the uh, paper, uh, the uh, Boston Phoenix at the time. Wow. Yeah. Like, Wanted bassist and drummer. Yeah, it's like a we we asked uh, Charles asked, you know, wanted female bassist influences Husker Du and Peter Paul Mary. That's it. <laughs> That's a good ad. <laughs> Husker Du and Peter Paul and Mary. Yeah. Wow. We're weeding them out. Yeah. Oh, so that. we had one 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 response. That was it. And that was Kim. Kim. And, and, and we, we loved her instantly. Wow. Yeah. And then how did Dave Lovering get in? Dave Lovering was, um, 
he went to their wedding, Kim Deals and his, uh, and John's wedding. Um, John worked with David at Radio Shack. Wow. Yeah, and 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 uh, <laughs> he goes like, "Why don't you have him come in?" He came in, played the drum machine a bit, left, and uh, uh, you know, and then we tried out w one other guy. We played with him, and he just he was just so he was late, tardy, yeah. sometimes didn't show up. Ah, uh, and uh, I said, "What about Dave?" You know? Yeah, yeah. And he goes, "Ah, I didn't see much," and I just said. He was just, he just, he was high as a kite, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I knew it. And, and, uh, and we, we called him, he was excited about it. I knew he had the, ch he had the chops. I mean, he was just playing these drum machines, patterns like, wow. Oh my God. That, wow. that dude's got it. I mean, he's, you know, cause drummers are like, uh, back then were trained with just pads, mm. you know, uh. random cues and all th this stuff. And now, you know, most of them just go right on the kit right you know but you got to know your uh and it's interesting that you said i think a lot of it has to do with probably you know being disciplined enough to practice and get together you need reliable people that's what i feel like that you had that with we we, we did we had yeah. a good work ethic yeah yeah because but, there's no because you, you guys rose pretty you were young right? you rose pretty quickly no yeah 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 I, yeah that you know 21 you know, we st we played our first gig. I don't think I was even old enough to uh, get into the club yet. I we had to pretend. Yeah, yeah I wasn't twenty one yet. Was it original music you guys were doing at the club? Yeah, yeah, it was. Wow, it was. It was uh, twenty minutes or something. Yeah, first. So then oh, you guys practice right, and then you know I mean you're you're collecting original music. Because I don't know how I, I I don't know how it works. I don't know how. Well, well t tell tell Joey about your band experience yeah. and your tardiness, <laughs> and how you essentially got kicked off the band. I was in a band called Laxton Superb. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, La it, it, a Laxton Superb is an apple. Okay. Right. So we were, we were a psychedelic band, mm -hmm. right? And it was four kids just in high school, right? And then. What happened was we played at this coffee shop called the Metaphor Cafe in Ooh. Escondido, California. This is probably in 1993, That's 92, cool. 93. Psych band in um, the Metaphor Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there was these two hippies that also played at the Metaphor Cafe, and they were like maybe 20 or 30 years older than us, but they were so good that the lead singer of my band asked these two old fuckers to be in my band, our band. And then it was now, it looked like fucking the Grateful Dead. It was like, you know, six fucking people up there. And then they had me in the very back, right? And I was just like, what am I doing back here? So I just said, I don't want, I think his name was Dave. I forgot who the other guy's name was. And I go, I don't want them in the band. And they go, well, they're good and, and they're in the band, so there's nothing you can do about it. So then in protest, I just stopped showing up to rehearsals, thinking that that was going to, you know, that they're going to be like, oh, Bobby's not around. We need so we'll kick them out and get Bobby back in. But then they all had, meet us at Metaphor Cafe at 3 p.m. So I show up and then they go, um, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you play? We played a pool hall. No, no. What was what, your uh, instrument? instrument? A keyboard. Keyboard? Yeah, I can play the keyboard. Okay. Yeah, I play the, a pre pretty good keyboard. <laughs> you know, it's not like professional like you, Joey. No, no, no. It's you don't fucking, have to It's be. not fucking professional, but you know what I mean? I did what I could, and um, <laughs> but I wasn't that good, so um, they kicked me out, and you know what? I'm, I'm grateful. I'm fucking grateful, and thank you for kicking me out, because without that, without that fucking gig, gig I would have never done comedy because <laughs> that's when I started going oh you know what I got to figure something else out so I started doing improv classes right and, sh and showing up at the I improv comedy club in Pacific Beach and hanging out what are those guys doing now yeah one of them works for fucking Cheesecake Factory he designs the, the walls oh that's cool yeah that's, that's nothing pretty, wrong with that yeah, that's, pretty that's pretty good really cool. that's pretty good wait the Cheesecake Factory is notorious for cool <laughs> walls yeah that's what they're like known for. They're known for their cool walls. No, but cheesecake. the little lines on the walls? Yeah. More than cheesecake sometimes. 
Is that what it is? I yeah. swear to you, like, there's this whole, like, there's this, <laughs> there's this whole, like, Fuck Reddit you. thing about the Cheesecake Factory art. Oh. So he's doing well. Well, he's doing, he's doing well. well. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> I guess he's doing better than I am. <laughs> And so then the other guy, Alan, he lives in San Diego and he, he's an accountant. That's good too. Yeah. That's pretty good. Gotta keep the books going, man. That's pretty fucking good. That's good. You gotta keep the books going. All right. Well, then I got fu I fucked. I got fucked by kicking out of the guy getting kicked out of the band. Yeah. And I'm sorry to them. And I feel remorse. Why'd you kick me out? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so let's go back to the fucking guest. <laughs> My friend here. So. Oh, man. What was the so when did you what was the show that like turned into like oh shit we're gonna make it oh you know <clears throat> it might have been the first one oh wow really just because we got it over with and we made it right you know it yeah, was yeah. we were so nervous you know oh, like yeah. I, I dropped the pick. <laughs> It was, only, <laughs> it was only one. I only had one, and I yeah. like, oh, fuck. I gotta pick that up. Oh wow! You know, and yeah. uh, how many yeah. people? There were four. Oh, oh, oh and, and on, on the, the thing. show, your first. Like, uh, let me see. My brother and my boss, <laughs> <laughs> friends. Yeah. Like, 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 like thirteen of them. Wow. <laughs> it was no. It was a small, small gathering, but we did it. Playing in a small, it's more nerve-wracking playing with half a room right. than a full room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more, ner you know, it's for us, it's more nerve-wracking playing in a small club. Like we did a Troubadour one time, uh, just recently, and then, then a festival. Right. The festival's really kind of no big deal. I went to the one at Rose Bowl just the last couple months ago. Oh, with, with The Cure. With The Cure, yeah. Mm. That was you mean Cure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, cure. The, the, the cure. But. And I was pissed off that I didn't go. Why didn't you invite me? I I did invite you, but you said something. Should I say it in front of him? Say it. No, don't say it. <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, it had to do. With, he, he did a. Why? Right. Yeah. It had to do with Kim Deal. What? <laughs> he wouldn't go to a show because he said. This is before he knew you. He was like, I can't if Kim Deal's not there. I got it. <laughs> it's understandable. Totally understandable. <laughs> but Paz is wonderful. I'm, who's the new bassist? Oh, Paz. She was amazing. Paz is great. She is, she is I, I, I'm, okay. amazing. I understand that. Yeah. All right, let me defend myself real quick. <laughs> okay. All right. Number one, will I go to another Pixie show again? course no you gotta buy a ticket now <laughs> i will fucking buy a ticket because you know how many fucking times i saw you six fucking times oh you did. and i oh. bought a fucking ticket already right because right? kim was there oh all right but can i just say this let me say this okay um like you know who bought tickets every show when you guys did remember you guys did the show where you only did the album do little mm -hmm. right who's there I got the box seats, baby. Right? <laughs> when you played the fucking Greek theater when you first got oh, back yeah. together, right? Yeah. When you guys, when Bone Machine, when you, I know all your songs, by the way, right? When, <laughs> when Were people going crazy at the uh, Greek theater? Dude. Were they loud? Not only were they loud. Just, See, we couldn't hear them. Fucking. <laughs> Wait. We thought they were a dead crowd, or maybe it's just an LA crowd. And every time we played three nights there, every time we got out of there, we just like, they hate us because we couldn't hear them. I got back. I got the green room in the back for that show. Oh, okay. Right? I remember Keanu Reeves was there mm -hmm. and a bunch of people were there. Right. Yep. And I, and then I remember you walking by and then me. Go, I think it was like a traumatic. Life. All of the sex in the city people were there. Yeah. Right? Everyone was there. Yeah. Right. So I'll tell you why you didn't hear anybody, because when you first came out. Right. I'm not kidding you. I because I, you were like, OK, so. It's as if, like, you know, if you the t talking heads got back together, uh -huh. which you'd never think it's going to happen because of um, Burn, what's this, David, David Burns, Burns' relationship with um, the other fucking, you know, Boy, you just don't think it's going to happen. So, uh -huh. you know, after Trump Lamont, you think, well, you know, I like Frank Black's, you know, solo shit, you know what I mean? But 
it's not the same. So then when you, you something like that happens where you go, because I was too young to ever see you guys back in the heyday. So it's like when you guys came out, I'm not kidding you. The people that I was with, we weren't clapping because we were crying. <laughs> <laughs> so, we you like fucking to think asshole. That we too, were f- because when I see a show that I'm amazed by, yeah, I, I don't. I'm, I'm just like, wow. Mm-hmm. I don't clap or anything. I just like give Thank him the, you. Give him the props. You know, like a ja- good jazz show. You're not supposed to talk. Yeah. You're not supposed to do any of that. Yeah. You know. So that's why. So you know. Yeah. All right. You know. Maybe I did have that point of view. You cornered me. I wouldn't have said that if you said, "Don't." Why didn't you invite me? <laughs> <laughs> you know that that, that rose. They said they they say they build it as the rose bowl, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. It wasn't even near it. It was yeah. It was the golf course. <sighs> see, I, I, I was <laughs> utterly disappointed. See, that's my head. Right. It's like, where is this? It's like it's not. Yeah. It's not the rose bowl. Yeah, it's yeah. not the rose bowl stadium. It's the. I think they call it like Bayside, like golf course, something. I call it rose bowl adjacent. Yeah, yeah let's, it was just, rose let's bowl just do adjacent. that. Yeah. yeah. Mm, no, that sounds bad. With the cure, though, right? We we played with them before. Yeah, yeah. We 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 love playing with them. Yeah. Well, I had a blast. Yeah, yeah. We played with it at Dodger Stadium. We did it back in the day. Back when? in the day, yeah. Wow. Yeah. How? What's what's Robert Smith like? He's he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a, he's he's very you know he's a gentleman. He he watched the show. Yeah, and, it, and you know said hello afterwards at the you know on, on our way back to the trailer. Yeah, I always wondered that when you you know when I see like bands together, like what they do, do they hang out backstage together? You would well, you'd hardly see each other because they're we're on different schedules. Ah, you know, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know, and we're trying to beat traffic too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We, we really are. It's just like we got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and uh, yeah. after shows, if we're the last one, yeah, the van's literally waiting for us, and we just zip, zip, zip the hotel room. Uh, yeah, Brookside. That's what it was called. Brookside. Brookside. Country, yeah, yeah. The the uh, the, the golf the course. golf course. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's called Brookside. I can't play there. You'll never do it again. No, the golf there. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Because they allow five people. So <laughs> five, not four, but five. Oh. oh. So, so you have to wait the a lot? The game's long enough, but five. Wow. That's just That's weird. So you don't have patience. See, I was going to say, I, I was gonna say something, you know, okay. East Coasty there. <laughs> yeah. That was. So I want to apologize yeah. to you, all right, that I had said that, but that was my point of view. But you know what? I've changed my ways, right? <laughs> And obviously, obviously, number one, you know, Joey Santiago, mm-hmm. that I'm a true fucking fan, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Number two, right? Remember in the end of Fight Club? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When yep. the fucking buildings are coming, coming down? down yep. I can't talk about it. Why? I just can't. <laughs> oh, is it legally? <laughs> we'll cut it out. It's the, it's the first rule. I cannot read you since you're so good. You're so good. Oh my god! I was like, Bob, what the fuck did you do? I know. I, oh my god! I thought that was so good. That was pretty good. This is a good place for it. <laughs> we should just turn it into. Wait, this. wait. Did people? I don't, so, let me ask you something. Let me say something. Is that a joke that you tell people when people bring it up? No. That I was just the first time. Right here. Wow. That was good. That was, good. That was, pretty that good. was really. That's good. Filipino talent, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was really. That's good. next level Filipino right. talent. Yeah. So let's go into now. Let's go into right. You can talk about it. I'm not in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, but that what an iconic. I know you don't want to talk about it, yeah. but what an iconic, iconic movie, and what a great fucking ending of a movie with that song. Where's my mind? It is really, really. It's really dope. Dude. I have to say, it's one of the best drops. Yeah, it really it's is. Just, the music, the composed music, was all electronic. Yeah. You know, and the first thing you hear is an acoustic guitar, the most pinnacle scene. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. It, it's like, wow. You know? Now, when you were, in, did you see that movie in the theaters? No, I did not. Have I you seen not. the movie? Uh, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. And now when you're allowed. I can't go to theaters, by the way. Why? I have a fear of 
crunching sounds. <laughs> I really do. I get that. Okay, hold on. What kind? Because I have miso. It's called miso. Yeah, misophonia. I have it. So I like, have it big time. You, do you have uh, misophonia of the? The licking sound? Yes. So everything, not just crunching. So it's the licking, the eating, anything. Th that drives me nuts. Yeah. Drives me. I, I, I look at people at restaurants like I'm going to kill them. <laughs> I no, I, I, I don't even know that. My, yeah. my, my kids would tell me, my girlfriends would tell me, it, it, it would be, I said girlfriend, not girlfriends. <laughs> and I said, uh, Aaron, hello. <laughs> and then, uh, I love you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I, I swear, cut that out. <laughs> so, okay, take two. My girlfriend would say like, don't look at them like that. Yeah. It's like, what? It's like, like you, you hate them. It's like, well, it's true. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just, I don't know what it, it, it is. It is. And it's not their fault. Yeah, of it's course it's not. not. <laughs> People have to fucking chew their shit, Joey. It's my fault. But 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 it's not your fault either because I hear that it's just something that's acquired without even you like knowing about it. I wish I didn't have it. I tried I tried therapy, I tried hypnosis on it, I tried oh, everything it's on it. It's a real thing. So yes. I so yeah, so I could just I, I could uh be around people. And I had to leave a restaurant one time. What? Yeah, a Mexican restaurant. I tortilla chips. Yes, I I, I put up. on mm. the jukebox. Because, what fucking because, Mexican wrestler has a jukebox? So many of the old school ones. Yeah, yeah. This place, this place <laughs> by the uh, <laughs> by, by the by the alligator. Taco lounge. does because I needed it because you know uh. I, I heard people and the owner turned it off. Oh man! And he said, "No, no, no. We don't." It's like what? Wow. You know, so you left the place. I left. I go, I don't want to eat your fucking food. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. I know, I know, but I'm like, like, let me see. I'm going to open this up. Does this bother you? If it's done repeatedly. Uh, if someone was doing this, well, not, that, that doesn't bother me. But, you, yeah, yeah. you know, just like the clicking of the pen. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah, yeah. that. All right. Bugs the hell out of me. Oh, wow. You oh, know? you. <laughs> Oh, and, and then when they oh. put when they started serving nachos in theaters, yeah, 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 yeah. that was the last. Straw. That was the last straw. Yeah. Have you seen that Tom Popo the movie? Mm -mm. It's about uh, rom. It's a uh, it's 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 like a western spaghetti film kind of thing, but you know with ramen, ha ha ha. Uh -huh. You know, and, and 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 they're they're going for like you know ramen. It's about food. Yeah, and uh, the opening scene. They were showing a movie and people were up front were eating really loud. And the director just went to them and just went nut shit on them. <laughs> uh, and oh, I yeah. just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did not know that about you. Wait, so I have a question. Tell them, tell them what I do. Tell them what I do. Okay, so I don't have misophonia. <laughs> But for some reason, he brings the misophonia out of me because he does these. Well, first off, he can't chew a steak properly because he's missing teeth. So when he chews a steak, it's as if he's trying to melt it in his mouth because he doesn't have the teeth to clamp down. So he does it. And then on top of that, every night, every night he does this thing with his fucking talons on his feet where he'll take one talon and put it against like a, a, a really crusty part of his back foot and he'll just go. Oh. <laughs> and so he has like oh. fucking foot shavings that he carves out every night in bed and I wake up from the dead sleep she just gets like, angry it, bro it, go, it drives me crazy she it's gets like a, fucking angry bro over <laughs> I don't eat with pe some you know I have a select couple that I won't eat with okay that's what I wanted to ask you so <laughs> one like actually slurped <laughs> a, a steak Slurp the steak. Maybe. He just went. Uh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> really? Hey, and I was just like, and I told him. Yeah. You, you, wow. I did. I go like, name? <laughs> yeah. How the fuck do you get a second date? <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with, with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and yeah. yeah, yeah. You what like, about your own um, kids and your family? Like, do you They hate me. Do you, could, do you have, do you tell them? I think I time? passed it on. Oh. And they call my shit out when I do it. Yeah. So I got to, you know, 
my my girlfriend is, is, is it's it's she thought I was cute. Now it's kind of like uh, I don't know if she thinks still is cute, but I told to her, oh that's adorable. Like like it's not gonna be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. wait. You know? <laughs> yeah. It just won't be. I wow. want to know exactly. Like I want a PowerPoint presentation of all the sounds that drive you crazy. <laughs> And at what frequency? Like, if you do it four times versus eight times? No, just once on on, on the crunch. Right, gone. That's it? Slurp, gone. Do you hear it on yourself? See, with me, yeah, I could, I could hear it with myself. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could. It's fine if I do it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone, yeah. but 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 when I'm around people, I do eat quiet because I, I don't know if anyone around me has it uh, uh <laughs> well you know I'll, I'll tell you what asshole mm -hmm. no one else has that no yeah yeah. a lot no. of people well, have it if you were slow if i was eating well i'm at sorry a ramen shop <laughs> sorry for yelling okay but if i was at a jersey mike's with you yeah okay because uh -huh. what goes with sandwiches baby chips Chip no chips right no yeah no Can't what do you mean it. no so if you were let's say you were eating chips look i'm, I'm already sweating <laughs> I really am. All right, I, so I, if I went to, went to Jersey Mike's with you and I wanted chips, I shouldn't order them? Now you, well, what do you think? Now that you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, I have a question. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if that's even, I would just be like. You want to take him to a Jersey Mike's? Yeah, well, I want to know no, if it's a we, deal breaker. We've eaten before, right? We, yeah. We've oh. gone to this Greek place before. Yeah. Was there crunchy foods there? Do you remember? No, 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 no. No, 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 you, no you, crunchy. No, no, no. You had a, a, a gyro, right? Gyro sandwich, yeah. yeah. And I, I think I've had. <laughs> you remembered exactly what you Oh, no, no, no. Because I was just, I was just like. That place was cool because there's hardly any crunching. Right. Thing going right. On. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like Mexican restaurant. Nope. Probably no. not. I've never had Mexican with you. I've had pizza and Greek, I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So any place with like kind of soggy foods. Oh, there? I can't wait to eat. I'm going to crunch the fuck out of your ears. There should be like popcorn flavored cotton candy <laughs> at the movie theater. Oh, right. First of all, what are we doing? We're sitting down. We're not hiking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's people are eating like a if trail anything, mix. you're gonna be sitting down. You shouldn't be consuming calories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Right? Yeah. Unless, unless you could prove you're gonna run a marathon after. Right. Okay, that makes sense. But if you're gonna go home, drive, <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think of um this new trend on the internet, the mukbang, where they they um basically have like a big pile of food in front of them and they just eat in front of the camera for hours. Oh, you mean uh MS or ASMR, same thing. A ASMR, ASMR like but they call it mukbang. Yeah. Oh. Just eating in front of a camera with sounds. With sounds eating, with like a slurpy sound. Eating no, no. I've I've tried those. I, I mean I've I, I saw those ASMR things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I you love know? ASMR. They're cute. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the girls, yeah. Yeah. I they get real erotic. Yeah. yeah. But it, okay, yeah. so I just mute it and look at look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Hours with the crunching. <laughs> no, but it's supposed to, it's supposed yeah. to you know, this when they do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I kinda like it, yeah. Mm. I don't like the whisper ASMR. I like the when they get creative and make like weird sounds out of like regular objects. So Foley artist? <laughs> like, uh, uh, Maria Abramovich, basically. Yeah. No, the, yeah, they will take like a feather and it goes. Yeah, yeah. Like that, I don't yeah. like it when they do the intentional whisper. Mm. Like I feel like that's like so four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. It also has. It gives me that you know that you know like the tingly. That's what you're supposed to get. That's the whole. That's a whole. I, I don't be wincing while I'm relaxing, though. Oh, you're wincing. Oh, oh you're wincing. Yeah, they'll go. They'll go. How are you doing? And I'll go. Ah, oh, like that. It's not like ah. Oh. Do that. I say the same again. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So quick. Hey guys, we're taking a quick break to share this really functional and great product. Hello, Tushy.com. <laughs> Do you have a butthole? Yes. And this ad is for you. <gasps> really quick, my asshole has never been cleaner. Yeah. It, 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 it's hard to believe that when you go to the bathroom in this country, most of us wipe instead of wash. What? For years, bidets have been available, but hideously expensive, costing thousands of dollars. Mm. The Hello Tushy modern bidet attachment is here to demo... 
Democ democratize the blessings bestowed by bidets and offer clean buttholes to everyone. Yes. Hello Tushy cleans your butt with a precise stream of fresh water for just $79. $79, oh my God. It attaches to your existing toilet, requires no electricity or additional plumbing, oh, wow. and cuts toilet paper used by 80%. So the Hello Tushy bidet pays for itself in a few months. Because with Hello Tushy, you don't wipe at all. Even the best two-ply just can't cut it when it comes to a hands-free poop experience. Ditch paper products and a comfortable chafing when you switch to the <laughs> soothing, cleansing stream of water from a Hello Tushy bidet attachment. And every Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. Join millions of happy Hello Tushy customers right now and have a clean butthole with every flush. Go to hellotushy.com slash tigerbelly to get 10% off. This is a special offer for our listeners, so go to hellotushy.com slash tigerbelly for 10% off right now. Hellotushy.com slash tigerbelly. Enjoy the rest of the show. So you told me once too, which was interesting, where um, you were on stage, you were so tired oh. that you forgot the beginning of the baser. Yes. Oh, no. Mount Fuji. You were in Mount Fuji. Oh. So the baser is... I, I took the sleeping pill. It's, not, it's You're supposed to take it. So you kind of get used to it beforehand. And I took it for the first time on the plane, and I was up the whole time. Oh, gosh. Ah. And I didn't do the rule, which is you stay up till midnight, no matter what, and then go to sleep. Ah. I went to sleep, and then I was up all night. And then went to the show, dead tired, and, and I forgot, I forgot the intro. Well, now, it, it was, was the first song of the set? The, f the first song and like the thousandth time we played it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you, all right, so I can only imagine, right? Yeah. How many people are in there? Don't know. A, a lot. It's thousands. a festival. Yeah, thousands. Thousands. Yeah, thousands. thousands of people. Yeah. You're up on stage, right? People are going, Pick, say, Pick, right? The lights come on, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, one, two, three. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. That part, you don't know. Na, 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 na. I, I, I forgot that, yeah. So, so I, no, I, I remember that. Oh, you remember that part? No, no, I didn't even remember that. I, oh. I, I, I forgot. Yeah, I just wow. I forgot everything. And then everything. What, what do you look at your fucking band mats and go? <laughs> no, no, we started again, and Charles goes, ah, ha, ha, ha. he thought I was kidding. I go, I'm, no, oh, we can't do this. <laughs> really? Yeah. We can't do this? Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. It reminds me when I bombed in front of that big crowd that one time in San Jose, where like I was, you know, the twenty thousand seats where they booed me off stage. Yeah. Mm. You know, I was, I, I, I had to follow Leslie Jones, and she killed. And then I went, uh, went up on stage and just nothing came out. Oh, man. And they just started throwing fucking bottles and cans oh, at me. Oh, gosh. 20,000 people booing me. And then me just walking off stage in tears. You know what I <laughs> mean? So it, just, it just happens. Wait, so did you end up uh, figuring it out? Like, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, yeah, I mean, it's... Okay, I... Now, now before shows, I would do that, and I would kid around with the. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? With with Paz and uh, yeah, 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 because she knows the story. Yeah, and I would do it, and then you know, damn, 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 and and, and 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 then I would break into like a, then I'd pretend I fuck it up all backstage. Oh, right, 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 right. And then I'd do a blues lick. <laughs> it goes like, ah, oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 damn it, you're you know? a trickster, yeah. But yeah, but nah, I'll never ever screw that one up again. What happened? I want to get serious now. So you put out the EP, then mm -hmm. um, Surfer Rosa, Doolittle, um, Bossa Nova, mm -hmm. and then Trump Le Monde. Oh, yeah. And then what happens? Why did you break up? Um, well, uh, you know, you know, it just we weren't we weren't happy anymore. There was this tension. You know, yeah, there was just just this massive tension, and and uh, yeah, I couldn't stand it anymore. Really, mm. after a while, I just, it was uh, yeah, it was it was it was bad. Re like, cause I always wonder that, like, how can you can't just talk it out? T 
attention? Oh, a talk? Yeah. No. We All getting us in a room talk. and go. Uh, tell we what, we what? Did, we we were socially inept. We never talked about anything. Mm. We just didn't. You know. Yeah. Who's that? And David Lee Ross said, "You know, you want to break up a band? Two words: band meeting." Ah. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah. You know? Right. Band meeting. That means it's over. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So then you break up, and then how long were you? Because I, I just remember it being a, over a decade, right? Longer than that, that you were yeah. broken up. Mm -hmm. How long? About a decade. Yeah, about yeah, a ten decade. De ten, de ten, ten years, years yeah. And in, in that, because I'm just so curious about this, because I know a lot of bands break up, but what do you, do you talk to them in the 10 years, or do you just stay completely silent? Just with Charles and... Uh, cause I record on his solo stuff All right. and, uh, David. Right. Yeah. And Kim, Kim, I, I, it, there's nothing, there's no bad blood. We just don't talk after the tour. Like I haven't talked to David since we left Australia, mm. uh, in that was March. Of, yeah, March. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the Corona thing was just raging. Yeah. Yeah. And we just got the hell out of there. And, um. Uh, Charles maybe once. Uh. Paz, I haven't talked to her. It's just, it's just what bands do. It's normal. It's normal. Yeah, yeah it's a normal you thing. Think, you think that you would call each other every day? Yeah. How's how's the baby? You know what I mean? Yeah. How you are you doing the yoga? You guys don't do that. Mm. No, you guys, you guys show up at. Per, it's like work. Yeah. yeah. It's workmates. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. I worked at Radio Shack, could we brought up Radio Shack? Yeah. Is Radio Shack still around? Maybe, mm, maybe a bankrupt. Yeah. But, yeah. And yeah. I'm and I'm working with a crew of people. On our off days, we probably wouldn't talk. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. That's what it is. Yeah. But you guys, there's love there, though. Yeah, there is. Yeah. The, yeah. Love. There's mutual respect and all that, you know. But it's just you don't think about it. Yeah. Like Jordan Peele. Mm -hmm. That's a good. I was on Mad TV with Jordan for how many years? I was on Mad TV with him for f five or six years. It's a long time. And then you know. That he did Key and Peel and this and that. Then he won his Academy Award. And he texts me once every other month, back and forth. Mm -hmm. How's it going? This and that. But it's not like we talk. So I get it. Mm -hmm. But I love him dearly. I, I love everyone from Matt TV deeply. Mm -hmm. If I saw them in the streets, I would give them a hug. What? Nothing. Our, our garden, not, it's a neighbor's gardener who's doing his. Is that driving you crazy? No, it's not driving me crazy. <sighs> <laughs> but Joey, what did you do in that ten years? Um, I I uh, I tin foiled all the windows. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. What? I, I fell in this deep depression. Right. I've always had it. You know, I've always had it in the room. But 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 that there was too much time, and I stewed in it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. My wife at the time said, "What are you doing?" He's like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I think blackout curtains are expensive. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. I thought it was totally normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought it was genius. That, it is uh, genius. That's what I did in college when we were broke. We tin foil, tin yeah, foil. yeah. 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 But I locked myself in there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I know, stunk too. I mean, I, 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 I really did. I was, it was, now I look back at it, it was normal. And we're similar in many ways where, we we dipped in the the drugs. Yes, and you know I, I want people to know that the way I know Joey, I know Joey as a, a sober guy. Yeah, and I too am sober, and we've connected in that way. That's our the foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, what is I mean? Because I know that when you got sober, it was a, a difficult transition, like all of us, right? Yeah, like if the first year was tough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Like, you don't, I didn't know what to do with my days. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's when I knew it was normal. That's like, oh, maybe I did have a problem. <laughs> yeah. no, no, every, yeah. Everyone else knew but me. Yeah. But, but, but then I started to know. Mm -hmm. And then I really knew when I was just puzzled what the fuck people do yeah. when they wake up. Yeah. What, do you, what do you do? Well, you know, what do we have? Lunch? Even lunch. <laughs> yeah. 
I, 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 I get, I got, I, I felt bad by not ordering a drink. Yeah. When, when I go out, you know, and I go to these places and, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, what are we talking? About? Yeah, you, you, I'd go to these places and, and they know me, and they would start. I'd start hearing the shaker, right when I enter the door. Yeah, it's like, oh fuck, no, mm. I, no, I don't do that. Yeah, and they just go, what? It's like, but they respect it. Yeah, it's it, it's it's an odd thing. It is. It's uh, mm-hmm. but you know, let let me be honest. It's I don't do it. Hey, listen, do I miss it? Does it feel good to get high? Yeah. But I just can't live, you know what I mean? I, number one, when I'm smoking weed or doing whatever I'm, I'm doing, I can't live in the moment. I can't connect with people around me. I can't, um, I'm just not in God's light. It's hard mm. to explain. But, you know, by being sober, there's a spiritual mm-hmm. element to my, you know what I mean, sobriety. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and, you know, I've been sober off and on since I was 17 years old. So I know what it feels like to be present and mindful and to be, you know, I mean, clear, you know. Yeah. And it's like, I just can't. I do. Don't I, I'm like anyone else. When I go to a Mexican restaurant, I want a martinis. Margarita. <laughs> Margaritas. Mar- 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 what? <laughs> Mar- Marquez. Yeah, martini. Mar- what's Mexican it called? Margarita. Martini. Margaritas. Margaritas. Yeah. Margaritas. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. I can't say certain things, all right? And I'm, I'm tired of being, sorry. George. <laughs> Fucking shamed by white people because I can't speak your language correctly. <laughs> <laughs> all right? I'm doing yeah. the best I can. I, I, mis- I mix up pronouns. And someone told me that the Filipino the language, Filipino Tagalog, thing. doesn't have pronouns. Doesn't. So my mom is. So I go like, he, he, dad, you just say it's. He, she, to, to, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. we can't assume yeah. she's a girl. I mean, a boy. Not at, least, <laughs> not at this time. You know what, yeah, though? Yeah. If you really think about it, the Filipinos got that right, that part right in their language. Like, they just don't refer to anything as male or female. Yeah. It's just like, ika, like if it's just a person. Yep. Like, there's no mm-hmm. male, female. So my mom, it's always, this is how she says it. Oh, you know, darling. So he, she went to the, she just covers her basis and she says he, she, just in case it's a he or a she. Mm-hmm. And that's how she refers to people. <laughs> he, she. So he, she he, went she. to the bank. But my dad would go like, watch an act, uh, actor or anything. He, he'd go like, ah, bakla. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone, everyone's a bakla. Everybody. Yeah, that's very yeah. old school, like yeah. Filipino. Yeah. Everybody is. We won't yeah. say what that is. Joy, I, you know, Kalila and I wrote a show. We're right, we're pitching a show, so, mm. and it's a, um, it's a. We last a couple of years ago, I was in Cebu, and I one day woke up and I said, "Let's do a talent show, a local talent show." In our in my um, family's Provin- like provincial area. There's, I bet you, there's. I mean, they're like the mockingbirds of the Orient. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So. What showed up were people with the level of talent of yeah. Michael Jackson. I mean, just the dancing, the singing. It was so we're going to pitch it. We, and, you know, I want Joe Coy as a judge. Mm-hmm. I want you as a judge. Would you do it? Yeah. We fly you out there, take care of you. You judge this talent show. As, yeah. So what do you mean? Was, yeah, yeah. After yeah. The, this is. This is a couple of years later. Uh huh. Yeah, this is after we have a vaccine. What's craft services? What, what, are, they, what, what are you guys going <laughs> to serve? No loot and fucking bird nest soup for you, <laughs> if that's what you want. Okay. Slur. And potato chips. Oh. Uh-huh. Potato chips for the whole crew. Uh, Pringles. Yeah, but I want. Love, I we really would love you and Koi. Oh, I would love it. Uh, to, to fucking yeah. judge. At the end, dude, I, I, I want to say this too uh, to to people listening. Um. Is is that um, honestly? Go out and if you don't know who the Pixies are, dude, get all their albums. But like, I have to highly re- recommend. You said that you both is Bossa Nova one of your favorites? Yeah, yeah, dude, I love. I was listening because when you had said that, I think you said it on social media. I went in and listened to that whole album again. And it's, look at this. What? You see this? What? Sorry, I, I I disturbed you. It's okay. What is that? We just made this. It's it's a it's Pixie a mask. It's a Pixie's, Pixie's mask. Yeah, I'm not I'm not pimp, I'm no, not, I, I'm not I, pimping here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Are you it, selling it, them though online? It sounds good. <laughs> are you selling them online? 
Promote your shit. Cut. No. Uh, our, no, our, our, not doing not, not for uh, this. Yeah. Link in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so people that are listening, like are uh, so follow Joey Santiago on social media. Right? We really dive deep because I really think that they're as good as, you know, the greats, talking heads. I mean, they're very influential. I would say the clash, talking heads. The Pixies, they're all in the same, you know, that same group of people or bands that are just like, you know, air I- supply? iconic. What? Air Supply? No, air not supply. Air Supply. Not in my book. Okay. No. In my book, no. No, no, no. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. For me, Air it Supply has- is just pure Filipino adolescent nostalgia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like everything. Even when you go back now to the Philippines, it's like every shitty loudspeaker outside of every home is still blasting. Poison, GNR, mm. Air Supply, and a couple of the other like you know. It does. When I hear that song, it is. It, it, you, it's weird when you hear songs, you get these memories and yeah things, you know. Yeah, I listened to. There's this band called. I don't know if you know who they are, but they're called the Red House Painters. Oh yeah, they're in 4AD. Yeah, yeah, 4AD. Yeah, man. yeah, and um, it's real like sad core. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. sad core music. Uh-huh. And Mark Kozlik, the the singer, writes about internal things. You know, very privileged white kind of. Because you say it's very emo. Oh no no! Yeah. Like it's not that I don't. I'm a super depressed kid. I grew mm. up super depressed yeah. and emo. But his is the kind of emo that I can't relate to because it's a very. I call it privileged emo, where it's not. <laughs> There's nothing like, there's nothing like, I grew up in like, you know, when I lived in, in, in high school, like I live in the hood. Like yeah. I didn't come, like all the things that he talked about, like I didn't have my own bedroom. Like I shared a bedroom with my parents cause we were that poor. So I didn't know what it was like to be in your room alone, like pondering on life. Cause I didn't even have that luxury. Mm, yeah. You know? So what he spoke about, even though his songs are wonderful, I couldn't really. Yeah. But he talks team. about relationship loss. You can talk about that insecurities about his body. You can fucking <laughs> relate to that. I, I, it's not just <laughs> fucking white, fucking privileged bullshit. You're the one who called it white yeah, He privilege. talks about like, you know what I mean? Walking on broken glass with bare feet. You know what I mean? And stuff like that, man. You know, if you want to listen to a Red House Painters album, I highly recommend the Roller Coaster album. There's the song Mistress, but fuck them. We're talking about the Pixies. <laughs> now, at the end of our podcast, Joey, first of all, I also want to say that you are fucking great today. We would oh. love to have you back. Yeah. I really do. You now, forgot to mention the other records we've done post breakup. Which are? Yeah. Are you even a fan? Yeah. And listen to the post band album <laughs> the, post- the other albums the other albums yeah you know i'll be honest with you. i'm kidding no I'm no kidding. i know you know what you're, you're really putting me in the hot seat and i like it i like it and i like to confront my own demons and i like to be honest with you is is that i have not listened to them it's okay and you know what i'm gonna do tonight mm-hmm. i'm gonna listen to them tonight oh yeah yeah look at that that's your lie, <laughs> that's like, <laughs> lie. I mean, oh my god <laughs> i can t- no, no, I'm right. gonna listen to wait, wait, wait. Reset. Say it again, Tim. That you're yeah, gonna yeah. listen, right? I, I, I swear to God on my mother's life. All right. Like for instance, she said for two months, you gotta listen to the new Strokes album, right? That's true. And I would, I'd say, ah, the two, yeah, I'm done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the other night, have you been? I've been listening to it. Yeah, I've been pretty overhearing fu- been, it. It's pretty fucking good. It's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. I'll give it a and shot. I will, yeah, I will fucking listen to them because I love you. Mm-hmm. And I really love your band, okay? Now, at the end of our fucking podcast, mm-hmm. we do a thing called unhelpful advice. Oh, okay. And what it is is... Uh, oh. oh, sorry, a yeah. tamale came out. Uh, <laughs> you pronounced it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> fucking. So what it is is... People from the internet email us with problems, and we can give them advice. It can be helpful or not helpful. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Go ahead. Unhelpful advice with Bobby, <laughs> Kalila, and Joey Santiago. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be following the theme from the past couple of weeks of uh, helping people with paranormal experiences. So we know you're an expert in paranormal experiences. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, guys. Longtime fan here. A few months ago, I had a ghost sighting, and now I think I'm haunted. I was on a road trip with my parents through Oklahoma one night, and we were driving along a dirt road. That's when I saw it, a giant black hound with glowing red eyes on the side of the road. I quickly told my dad, who was driving at the time, to pull over. When we got out of the car, the hound had disappeared. 
We didn't see any paw prints, but weirdly, human prints leading away from the road. Ever since, I've had this recurring nightmare. I'm in my house at night. When I hear a knock at the door, I look through the peephole and I see a man standing there. He has a head of a black hound with glowing red eyes. I run away from the door into my bathroom and look into the mirror. Then I say, it's yourself you're talking about. Then my face starts bleeding out of my eyes, nose, mouth, everywhere. Then I scream and wake up. What does this mean? Am I haunted? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my name is Andrew. Span name is Andrew. Sucks. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. Wait, so it was a hound? A hound. He saw a hound on the side of the road. Right. With they red glowing eyes. So a werewolf. <laughs> did, 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 uh, that's not the moral of the story. What? The moral of the story is, is this. Is a moral to it? Yeah, there is. When you see a black hound with red eyes, <laughs> you don't pull over. Mm, that's true. That's a yeah. good point, babe. Mm. I don't think he's haunted. You just, you observe something. Yeah. You know, and you had a nightmare. It was a nightmare, yeah. what did he say? Yes. Yeah. So now when he yeah. wakes up, he goes, he, he thinks it's him. He is the hound that's bleeding with the red eyes. Uh, Look, well, I, what does that mean, I guess? What could it mean? I think that lockdown's, you know, been a couple months. It's making people <laughs> a little crazy. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, okay. Maybe PTSD or maybe something like that. I don't I don't know. I thought he wa I thought he said I thought okay. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if he's haunted because he saw something like that. Or maybe like it jumped into him, like the 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 essence or the soul of that hound jumped into I the think car. It feels like it's demonic experience. It's now living within him. Okay. Mm. So that's mm. some normal stuff. All right. I First of all, what he saw was probably a coyote. Mm -hmm. Good point. And he's in a car, right? Mm -hmm. So the lights shined. In, you know how you take photos with yeah. of people they glow. and it glows red for some reason? Maybe there's something, some sort of illusion. He was a kid too, right? Yeah. This it's is not, so it's just nothing. Is he acting like that creature? Yeah, is he turning into a <laughs> werewolf? Yeah, that's a good... That's a good fucking question. It does not. He just says he dreams about it. He runs to the bathroom. Then he says to the mayor every single time, it's yourself you're talking about. Uh, then everything starts bleeding. Damn. Too bad he doesn't turn in that person. Yeah, that yeah. would be really that cool. Been that would have been better. Yeah. Look, I because I would try, yeah. try to meet like Bezos and you could be that person. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in, 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 instead of a yeah. hound. Instead of like a mangy yeah. mutt. Do you have another one? I would, I would Fuck wait. Fuck that one. No, hang on. I think that he should, the next time you write in shouldn't be until you transform into a real werewolf. Because then we won't answer your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're a real werewolf, you're nothing It's to like us. somebody's emailing us like, um, I found a little bump on my chest. It could be cancer. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. Email us when it's cancer. I thought you said yeah, yeah. I know yeah. you're going that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I'm not you know, I'm not a doctor and I'm, yeah. I, I don't live in a hypothetical life. Yeah, yeah. Right? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let, turn it into cancer and then email us. So I'm sorry, I had this tamale earlier. And you know the tamale, I feel like I didn't chew enough, it's right here. It's like it's he's going, he, he's moving like this. I'm he impressed. Like <laughs> pronounced it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, Masa Kuki. Masa Mount Masa Kuki. And what was the other one I couldn't pronounce? You know, what I mean something else. Do you want you want to promote anything, Joey? That you you're dying to promote? Promote anything that's coming out or a show that you want to promote or anything? Because people listen to this, right? And it, we're, you know. Yeah, but they're the pixies, babe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's my bad. Yeah. My bad, man. My kids want more followers on my. Uh, I'll follow thing. Joey's kids. Your you, you, your your kids want more followers, or they want more followers for you, for me. Oh, oh for I, you! Don't follow Joey's okay, kids. So follow everyone Joey. listening right now. They wanted my account verified so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it finally, I had to actually do it yeah. because my friends were like, "Did you send this? It's some creep guy." <laughs> Offering him tickets to like Mexico, thing, oh. but you gotta do, and, and you know, like hitting on them. Oh, oh. Wow. yeah. So you had to get your shit verified. So you're ver well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not even like a me too. Like it's like not me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slash, oh, we. I still get that. Even I'm yeah. verified. I get. People. Yeah, you still people like impersonating and stuff. Like I had this piece of shit. I don't know if I talk about it. But nah, not worth it. What do I want to promote? 
your your fucking Instagram and Twitter. Understanding, but peace, love, fuck that. <laughs> oh. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah. I wish I did. But you know what, dude? Let me say something to you. You know, I, I told you this before the podcast in, in my driveway, but I, um, you know, I, we've had a lot of great people on this show. We've had Tiffany Haddish, Aquafina, you know, uh, a lot of people. Mm-hmm. We've had Dice Clay. And it's usually, there's certain people that make me, just very delightful that they are on and this guy's one of them because I truly am a big fan but I also more than that you know I just think that we're going to be lifelong friends he's a good mm-hmm. dude you're a good dude man yeah I could and I, I like you that. and I you know you're Asian as well that helps <laughs> but um, why don't you like golf well, there's other things to do besides golf you like to fly you know, kites? It, it, it's the one I thing. like to fly kites. Hold on one second. It's the one thing he does that makes me not want to like him. Hang on, because his dad was a crazy avid golfer. I'm okay. not your fucking dad. I know, but my dad used to beat <laughs> me with golf clubs. Huh? My dad used to beat me with golf clubs. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's a layer to this. There's a layer to it. Okay. Hang yeah. on, but... Did he get your sweet spot, though? Do you do... <laughs> Big Bertha. Okay. Can you get him into? Do you? Um, can you get him into your outdoor um, hobbies and activities? Because you got the Peloton now. Maybe you can. Yeah. Catch uh, up. How about this? If I got a bike, because I know you like to cycle. Ooh. And like, when like, the pandemic's over. What about something else that we want to do? That's something else. Tennis. Oh yeah, he's. Oh, I'm good at tennis. Oh, God, there's Are something. Ro- there is something wrong with my toe at the moment. <laughs> I'm say I'm seeing an acupuncturist. Are you being real? I am being real. But uh-huh. this, I, I didn't want to go with my other one. Yeah. I'm going to go to her. She's very expensive. Okay. And I was like, what? Yeah. It's like, that's how much I was paying? Yeah. Because now I'm paying attention. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, Be- yeah, yeah. Before, like, my toes fucked up. Fix it. You know? Yeah. And it's like, oh, my God. And then, and then I went into network. And oh, my God. Just one toe? One toe. And oh, he was fucking mean. <laughs> was he a podiatrist or an acupuncturist? I had tears. He just goes, "Oh, you know, it's 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 just it's just sensitive down there." But he was just like jabbing it. Oh, Jeez, <laughs> that fucking and, and it was like no bedside manners. That's that's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is is that? So anyone that's a fucking toe doctor, <laughs> anyone that is in the realm of fixing toes, please get in co- contact with. No, this is the acupuncturist. My my uh, my my foot doctor. The what podiatrist. Do podiatrist. Podiatrist is. Awesome. Okay. If he's listening. All right. If you're a he's, podiatrist, he's fuck it. Fuck it. But he already has a podiatrist. But if you want a foot guy, a Acu- toe guy, Acu- acupuncturist, yeah. and you're really good, uh-huh. contact Joey Santiago. Okay. And I want to do this. How about a round of applause for my friend Joey Santiago for doing a wonderful podcast with the Tiger Belly family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so hot in here. Make sure you follow Joey Alberto Santiago on Instagram. Thanks to our sponsors, Manscaped, Brooklyn, and Tushy. Trim your chesticles with the besticles. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SLEPT, S-L-E-P-T, at manscaped.com. Brooklyn is the perfect place to find all your comforts for home, including ultra soft towels that can be warm or cold get 10 percent off your first order at brooklinen.com slash tiger for your modern bidet attachment go to hello tushy.com slash tiger belly and get 10 percent off because you know what we want our listeners to have the cleanest buttholes ever and if you like the poster behind me right here bobby as a supreme leader we've uploaded the artwork of that to our patrons over at patreon.com slash tiger belly where you can find vlogs bonus podcasts our exclusive discord behind the scene photos and just a great community uh, only at patreon.com slash tiger belly and if you haven't seen it yet uh george and andre's fancy be forced me to uh watch my cringe worthy stand up and if you want to see us react to that Go ahead. Uh, get your question on Tiger Belly by emailing us at adviceunhelpful@gmail.com. We're looking for interesting, unusual, non-typical problems, and we need your help as much as you want ours. And also, sir, uh, next time you email us, make sure you are a werewolf so we can talk about it. That's adviceunhelpful@gmail.com. We love you so much uh, from the whole team here. Thank you guys for being on the ride. I hope you enjoyed. If you're watching video, this beautiful plexiglass that George made and that his little nephew decided to break and break George's heart. 
<laughs> with a hammer. Um, shout, what's your nephew's name again? Shout out to Frankie. Good job. Challenge your uncle. Challenge him at all times. Uh, good night, guys. Bye.